In Minnesota, a young boy made a wish and donated his own money to make that wish happen. And now he is reaping the benefits. Benefits he happily shares with others. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield has the story of Quinn Larson. Life can be full of ups and downs. The Larson family knows it well. Their oldest son, Quinn, fell from a window, then got meningitis. He lost his hearing and ability to speak, but he never lost his drive. I remember distinctly. When we first met Quinn in 2019, he was a kid with a dream and a long shot goal. He donated his own money to make a wish to make the dream of an accessible playground happen. I think the community raised $307,000 just to make just it happen yeah. in this small town. Right. Yeah. Add in Quinn's money and a grant from DNR and voila, what was once a cornfield is now a field of dreams. And then we built right. it and they came. And boy, did they ever. About 500 people showed up at Quinn's playground. The ground is wheelchair accessible. There's a resting spot for kids with autism, sign language art, the swings are accessible and the zip line. Oh, the zip line. You did this, Quinn. You did this. This is yours. This is your dream. Of course, the playground doesn't just serve kids with disabilities, it's also an adventure hotspot for kids of all abilities. Which brings us to this week's question, why is it important to put an emphasis on accessibility? Head online to share your thoughts.